What's going on everybody? Mustafa here with another review. If you are new to my videos, thank you for tuning in and welcome. My videos are based on the products that we have available in our store at Tafa.org. And as always, I try to keep them short, simple, and to the point. With that said, let's get it. <music> I've been getting these questions back to back and instead of replying to this person, that person, and that person over there, I've decided to share my findings with you all while attempting to properly showcase the Nike Air Hawachi. Hawachi. Nike Air Hawachi. Nike Air Hawachi. You, you know what I mean. What is that? I don't know what is that? This video is not for everybody. If you own a pair, obviously it's not for you. It's mainly for the people that have been sending us questions and those that are still contemplating on whether or not they should buy the Nike Air Rachi and of course how comfortable they are. And that is the main reason for this video today. And as always, I'm gonna keep it short, simple, and to the question that we keep getting is how comfortable are the Nike Air Rachi? Now, one thing you have to understand, comfortable or comfort vary by person. What's comfortable for you may not be comfortable for me and vice versa. And you cannot properly answer this question without identifying or breaking down what makes a shoes comfortable. Now, me personally, I've had it. I've had no problem with it. I'm flat footed. Now, the only thing for me, it's that it's a bit narrow uh, on the toe area. But apart from that, I've had no problem with it. All right, back to comfort. According to Satra, the Shoes and the Light Trades Research Association, there are 16 steps to measure comfort can you believe that 16 steps to measure how comfortable a shoes is but for the sake of this video we're only gonna focus on the top four that makes the shoes comfortable all right the first thing is size now we all know that your actual size doesn't always fit as they should and that is because of the manufacturing and the material the shoes is made out of so best practice is to always get a size up so for example if you have an eight try eight and a half and another thing is you want to buy your shoes at the end of the day and that is because to do during the day, your feet swells and they are bigger in the afternoon than in the morning. The second thing is shape. You have to know the shape of your foot. Now, some shoes can be curved, other are semi-curved, and some are straight. So you have to know the shape of your foot. The third on the list for comfort is stability. How rigid is your foot and how rigid is the shoes you are trying to buy? In this case, the Nike Air Rachi. Now, me personally, I'm flat-footed and I have no problem with these shoes. So if you have a high arc, you may want to find the shoes with more cushion. Last but not least, style. This should be a given, but if you don't like the way a shoes look, it would not be comfortable. So before you buy a pair of shoes, make sure that you like the way it looks. And believe it or not, everything else will fall into place. So again, back to the question of how comfortable are the Nike El Rachi? It really depends on the person. Now, me personally, I've had a pair and I've had no issue with it. And based on the comment that we have received and throughout the web, most people that have these shoes, they have no issue with it. They actually love it, you know. But like I say, it really depends on you. It really depends on your foot, you know. But I want to hear from you. If you have a pair, please let me know in the comment below. As always, I'm truly thankful that you have taken the time to watch my video. I hope that this video have uh, somewhat answered your questions, if not all. If you have found this video uh, somewhat resourceful, um, give me that thumbs up. And let me invite you to subscribe. I have a lot more contents coming, a lot more products to review. And if you have any questions about any of the products that we uh that we sell please feel free to uh, email us um and if i get many of the same questions and of course i'm gonna release a video like this and if it's just you or one or two people that's asking about that same question i have no problem uh replying to you guys directly so again thank you and until next time stay safe